What's up guys, Momo Jerry here, and guess what? Tomorrow, Zapdos is finally coming out. The strongest electric type in all of Pokemon Go with Gen 1 and Gen 2. Until Gen 3 comes out, and until Raikou will be like right behind it, but this Pokemon is amazing. It is an electric flying, that means it only has a few weaknesses in the form of ice and rock. Nothing else. Those are the only two weaknesses it has, so you really have to stock up on a few Pokemon. And I'm here today to bring you guys a few Pokemon that you could use tomorrow for Zapdos. Now, some of them are going to be hard to find, some of them are going to be easy, and some of them you're never going to think about really. But some of them you already know. So, we're first going to get into it and we're going to go with, let me see, who is my MVP, guys? You ready? You ready? Bam! Alright, so Tyranitar is what you're going to want to go with first. Tyranitar is a rock dark that can go up to 3600 CP if you really want to push it that far. If you, it's just really a status quo to get him all the way up there, but he's not the strongest there. He's kind of strong a little bit lower than that, but besides the point. He has a great moveset with Bite and Stone Edge. His Bite really, really racks up Stone Edge, and if you don't, If you dodge enough of Zapdos electric attacks, then you will find that Stone Edge will do a very nice chunk. If you have a good team of six Tyranitars, you're in pretty good shape. But let's say you don't have six Tyranitars. Let's go on with the next Pokemon, Rhydon. Rhydon is quad resistant to electric and flying. So you're going to be doing pretty good with Rhydon in your back. Also, Rhydon has a terrific moveset in the form of Rock Mud Slap and Stone Edge. Mud Slap is not so much the best move because Moltres resists it in the form of flying. So I'm not really sure how to do the calculation, but I'm pretty sure it just be like not effective, bro. Sorry, even though electric is effect, even though ground is effective, it gets electric. Flying takes precedence, so it's not the best thing. But if you have Stone Edge then you're great because it just goes POW! Right in the kitchen. Then Zapdos goes go. Then, if you don't really have a team of Rhydon, you go to the next Pokemon. Golem is really the MVP of the flying, the legendary Pokemon scene because he has Rock Throw and Stone Edge. I need to reroll this. He has Earthquake. Can he still learn Stone Edge? I'm not sure. I think I re-rolled my Golem's charge move and then it still gave me like Rock Blast and then Earthquake. And I didn't feel like using any more charge moves because I only had like six teams left and I used to have 20, but then I really messed up on my Tyranitar just like, ah! But besides that, Golem, another quad resistant to Zapdos in the form of Rock and Ground. So he has a terrific moveset in the form of Rock Throw. Stone Edge. Just throw rocks, then POW! Right in kiss it for that Zapdos. Now, let's say you don't have an, an entire full team of Golems, Rhydons, and Tyranitar. You could still do a pretty good chunk of damage if you have Lapras. Lapras was very widely available during the water event. I think there was a, yeah, the fire and ice event as well. And then it just, it's everywhere. Everywhere at the time. So then if you have a good moveset like Frost Breath and Blizzard, then your Lapras will be doing a very good job for you. Next, we could go on to another Pokemon that I don't have many of, and I didn't necessarily power up, but I'm suggesting you could use it too, if you're in the area where you could find them. Poliswine. Poliswine resists its electric attacks. Well, Lapras doesn't. Lapras is a water type. Poliswine is a ground ice type, so you can hit him straight with Ice Deck. Mine right now has Ice Shard and Avalanche. So if I use that and attack Zapdos with it, I'll be doing a pretty good chunk of damage. Now, because it's an electric type, you can't use electric types because it resists. So you can't use Jotion, Ampharos, Electabuzz, none of those Pokemon. Now, if it was another thing, if it doesn't have Actually, no matter what, you could use Dragonite as well. You could use it against Moltres, really? I mean, you could have, really. But Dragonite will actually be a good contender to use 
in the battle against Zapdos because it's very strong. It resists the electric moves. Even though it's flying, it still resists it because it's dragon. So if you have really strong Dragonites, go in, use a whole team of six Dragonites and just take it down. And maybe hopefully it'll have flying, um, the Zapdos will have flying attacks so you don't even have to worry about it. Now, a good other contenders would be Gyarados. Bite and Dragon Pulse would be good. I want to suggest Bite and Hydro Pump, but it resists water because it's an electric type. Snorlax would be good with um, Lick and Hyper Beam rather than Lick and Earthquake because the flying type resists it. Don't bother with Vaporeon unless it has all flying moves. Executor is good if it has all electric moves because it does a great amount of damage and great contender it's great I'm telling you it's a great Pokemon to use so a really good one like a 2800 a 2916 I think it goes up to if it has both psychic moves oh Articuno would be great to use if it's just flying attacks if Zapdos only has flying attacks go win with Articuno and you'll be absolutely set I've powered up my Articuno not max because his max is only like 2700 because he's under 90% and if he was over, he would go up to like 2,900, but I was not able to get a really good Articuno. So, yeah. Maybe you could use Arcanine, Flare, and like you could use Pokemon that have really strong attacks like Alakazam and Espeon would be really good to use. It doesn't do any super effective damage, however, it will still do a good chunk of damage because... Espeon and Alakazam are really, really strong. Oh, and Gengar. Use Gengar too. Use the entire squad if you really need to because you ran out of other Pokemon. And yeah. So that is everything on Zapdos. I really hope I helped you out. If you have any other questions, leave them down below. Remember, dodge and attack. Dodge the charge moves. You can take the regular hit tree, really. But just keep dodging and dodging the charge move. He's like... Thunder, you're like, oh. Stone Edge, Stone Edge, Stone Edge, Stone Edge, but yes, Stone Edge, Stone Edge, everything to death, and hopefully you get, guys get those Zapdos, and hopefully I will be able to get a Zapdos at least over 90%, because my Moltres, my Articuno, and my Lugia are all under 90, but I'm going to go really hard to try as many Zapdos raids as I can, and I hope you do too, guys, and I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, Leave a comment down below. I need to go pass out real quick. <gasps> ah, atmosphere. But I am back. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. If you have any questions, comment down below. Message me. And don't forget to subscribe. And as usual, guys, I'll catch you later.